this video will assist you in finding why your project's not exporting. And since you're viewing this video, it's most likely you'll have an error message or Final Cut Pro will be crashing. And it'll be say something like, Final Cut Pro quit unexpectedly, which is a really helpful message. But anyway, let's see what we can do to find the issue for you. If you've got a warning containing a frame error message or a render error message, we'll click the link above because there's a specific video that will solve that issue. Otherwise, there are a number of issues that could be causing the export to fail or Final Cut Pro to crash. And the most likely is a plugin conflict. And a warning here, if you've recently added new plugins or you've updated Final Cut Pro or updated your Mac OS, it's most likely that an effect, a title, a transition or a generator is not compatible with your update. And this would be particularly true for anyone that's just bought an Apple Silicon M1 Mac. Make sure the version of your Final Cut Pro is suitable for the version of your Mac OS. And next you could do two things. You could contact the developer for an updated plugin, or you could disable the plugin. And if you've got a message like this, you're in luck because it tells you which plugin is the one at fault. You could try removing the out-of-date plugin from the clip in the timeline by removing attributes in the edit menu. If that doesn't work, well then the plugin may need to be disabled from the system, and I'll show you how to disable a plugin at the end of this tutorial. So as I said, it pays to update Final Cut Pro to the latest version, as well as the latest version of the Mac OS. In the meantime, here are some other possible causes that I'll cover throughout this video. And they're listed in order of ease of fixing. And these are the easier fixes. Delete the render files, or you could reset Final Cut Pro's preferences, or there may be a corrupt project. And the harder fixes are to fix a transition or an effect. And then finally, you may need to reinstall Final Cut Pro. So first, delete render files. Deleting render files is a quick and safe way to start solving an export issue. And the first thing to note, and to put your mind at rest, is this can't do any damage or even touch your original footage. Final Cut Pro will recreate the render files if it needs them. Select the project you're having issues with in the sidebar under Smart Collections. Go to the File menu and select Delete Generated Project Files. And as you try each of the following fixes, select Export. And if you've still got an error, then try the next fix. And here is the next fix you should reset Final Cut Pro's preferences. These again will not cause anything that can't be recreated, nor will it change anything in your timeline edits. And if you want to re-enter these personal preferences again, I'll show you where to record what your current preferences are at the moment. Open preferences under the Final Cut Pro menu. You're only concerned about the first four tabs. That's general, editing, playback, and import the destinations won't get reset. And to keep a copy of each of these tabs, while the tab is selected, hold Shift plus Command plus 4. The cursor changes to a cross here, so drag it over the area that you once saved. You'll hear a camera shutter sound, and the image will be on your desktop. Do this for each of the tabs. Now go to the Finder, and the screenshots will be grouped together. You can view these when you want to re-establish your settings after the reset. You could save them to disk for future use if you wanted to. Now quit Final Cut Pro and before you relaunch, hold the Command plus Option keys and you'll be asked if you want to delete the preferences. Now open each of the screenshots and re-enter your preferences from where you've saved them. This is a simple solution again that does not damage any files or change anything in your timeline edits. In the browser, right click on the project that's causing issues. Select Snapshot. Change the name of the snapshot 
So click at the front of the name and add these words, fix error. Then double click that fix error project to make sure it's in the timeline. Try to export. If that doesn't work, then create a new project and then open the previous fix error project at the timeline. Select command plus A and then copy, that's command plus C. Open the new empty project of the timeline and paste, that's command plus V. Try to export. From here, if none of the previous things has fixed the issue, then finding an export error is likely to be very time consuming. So let's look at some other things. If you've used the flow transition, optical flow on slowed down clips, or Final Cut Pro's own stabilization command, this is what you need to do. First of all, the flow transition. Snapshot the project as before and rename the snapshot to fix error. Make sure the error project is in the timeline. I'm going to remove the optical flow first as it's the most likely culprit. Open the index, type flow in the search. Click the all button and this will select all the flow transitions. Click any one in the index and press command plus A. Press delete, or you could delete each flow individually if you want. Try to export. So removing effects. Next is to remove the optical flow or the stabilization effects. Again, you could do this by just selecting one type of effect or you could select all. I'd advise that you do one at a time as you still most likely need to sort out which ones are not working anyway in the future. So let's do them all so you can see how and select the whole timeline, that's Command plus A. Select Remove Attributes from the Edit menu. You'll need to have Retiming and Stabilization ticked and everything else unticked. That's because you would want to remove those two and not remove any of the other effects. Now try to export. If you get past the warning stage, it's most likely going to export correctly. If it doesn't give a warning, well now you're going to have to go through the whole edit and remove the suspect effects or transitions, and that's the real time consuming part. I'd suggest that you select a little bit of your timeline at a time, then try to export until you get the error message again. Then you'll know that the corruption is somewhere in that selection. Now we'll look at disabling a suspect plugin. As I said at the beginning of this video, plugins can be an issue when updates are done. And you may be able to export by just removing the effect from the clip in the timeline. But if that doesn't work, the plugin may need to be disabled from the system. And this is how to do that. Establish whether the plugin is an effect, a title, a transition, or a generator. Record the name of the plugin that you want to remove as well as the folder where it's contained. Transitions and effects are in the right of the timeline. So for instance, in the transitions, let's look at FX Factory Pro, and there's a transition in there called Accordion. And in the effects, also in FX Factory Pro, you've got the blur effect. Titles and generators are at the top left of your screen. And in titles, we can see in FX Factory Pro, time code. And in generators, also in FX Factory Pro, we can see the circle generator. So to locate and to delete or disable these, go to the finder and open the computer's main hard disk. It's normally called Macintosh HD. And if you can't see the Macintosh HD, select Go in the menu in the finder and select Computer. Open Macintosh HD and select the Users folder. Open the folder named after your user. Open the Movies folder. Open Motion Templates folder. You'll see Effects, Transitions, Titles and Generators. And here are the plugins I mentioned. 
Transitions, FX Factory Pro, Accordion. Effects, FX Factory Pro, Blur. Titles, FX Factory Pro, Timecode. And Generators, FX Factory Pro, The Circle Generator. So select the folder by the name you've recorded. That's the one inside the FX Factory Pro, in this case, and delete it. And it'd be better to drag the folder into a temporary folder, but that's over to you. But whatever you do, remove it from the FX Factory folder. And here's a warning, some plugin developers store their plugins in other locations. So rather than go through all of those options here, contact me and I'm available to help you locate those. Contact me on trainingfinalcutpro.com. Click on the eye above. Final Cut Pro reinstallation. And this is the final thing to do if nothing else has worked. You need to remove Final Cut Pro from the Applications menu and then reinstall it from the App Store. So first of all, quit Final Cut. The Applications menu is in your main hard disk and if you can't find it, go to the Go menu in the Finder. Drag Final Cut Pro to the trash. It'll ask for your computer's admin password. Then go to the App Store search field and type in Final Cut Pro. And you'll see the download symbol where the open is showing now. When you first launch Final Cut Pro, delete the preferences as I showed you before. That's hold command plus option keys. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one tuition in Final Cut Pro, just click on trainingfinalcutpro.com and I'd be happy to set up a personalized training program for you. But if you're looking for answers on a specific topic, I can offer free Final Cut Pro support. Just click the eye above for my free support page. Otherwise, let me know in the comments below if you've got some issues that you struggle with in Final Cut and I'll be happy to produce a YouTube video to solve those issues for you. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and press the bell.